the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get a weird thing. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on you, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Oh! Lick my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective. Here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Fuck this it. is Doing a, a preview show. The preview. We are previewing DP episode 757 because tonight that episode will be live on twitch.tv slash drunken peasants. So for all of the for all of those of you that want to go over there and watch it tonight, we'll be over there around uh, maybe like a half hour from now. And for those of you that are watching this after the show is over, we're going to have the show debut on a premiere on YouTube. Yeah, tomorrow at noon Pacific time, episode f- uh, 757 will premiere yeah. on this channel. Yeah. So if you can't make it over to Twitch... You can catch it here tomorrow. It'll be a premiere, so there will be a chat. It'll be like watching it live, even though it's not really live. It'll be like watching it live, but I can't steal your jokes. Yeah, he's stealing someone else's jokes. But wouldn't that be a weird thing? If I steal a joke and That's someone like says it and in the premiere chat. Yeah, and I'm just psychic. I'm psychic stealing jokes. Yeah. Or all my jokes and chat's jokes are just that predictable. <laughs> Maybe that's it the could- truth. It could be. It could be. So, yet, we started streaming full episodes on Twitch last month. I decided this will be a monthly thing. Just get everyone over to a new platform. We kind of do the show a little differently over there, too. It kind of forces us to do the show differently. So, we're going to do that. Hannibal and Monty should be there. I know Hannibal's going to be there. Monty, uh, he's, he's having some difficulties right now. Some testicle difficulties. Yes, some testicle. But uh, I think we'll get them on eventually. Yeah. And today is Joe's birthday. Oh, is it? Yeah. How old is Joe? Do we know? Uh, I'm not allowed to say. You're not allowed to say? No. But he's no longer in his 20s. Oh. And he wasn't in his 20s yesterday either. Oh. Okay. But, but he's he's no longer a 30-year-old man. Oh, so he's 31? <laughs> That wasn't supposed to say, Ben. You got it out of me. Is Joe insecure about his age? Kinda, yeah. Kinda. What's your age? What's my age again? What's my age again? I'm 36 years old. Okay. I'm twice as old as an 18-year-old. So we are going to play some videos for everybody. This preview show won't just be us promoting our stuff. Just a little bit of that. Just so. a just a little bit. Another promotion I want to remind everyone of is the Brave Browser. If you're using Bats, you know, it, uh, right now would be a good time to check and see if you have any and send them our way. And it's been a while since I've done this, so I will I will do the, the good old sweet boy promotional thing that we do uh, here. So Brave Browser, Brave Browser right here. Here's Here's our video. Right now, I click uh, the triangle up at the top, and if I had bats, which I don't, I would click send a tip, and you can send bats that way. For those of you wondering where the triangle is, it would be underneath the goal for bonus show sign. It's always hidden oh, back shit. there. Oh, shit. I always ever forget sees about it. that. Nobody ever knows. Damn it. People are always like clicking the goal for bonus show, trying to give us bats, <laughs> they end up having to give us bonus show money. Like, well, I guess it's giving <laughs> bonus show money. Got him. Got them. And if you're not using the Brave Browser, you really should. Brave Browser. All right. Pleb Nutler says, how long does it take for Discord to update from Patreon? I just became a $25 person, but it's not showing. Uh, it should be pretty instantaneous, isn't it? When when someone gets a patron level on Discord. 
I, I'm sorry, I didn't catch all of when that. When somebody gets a patron level on Discord, does it uh, automatically update or does it take a while? Yeah, it should update on okay, immediately. Okay, because Pleb Nutler says, how long does it take for Discord to update from Patreon? I just became a $25 patron, but it's not showing. That 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 should make sure that uh, everything is correct. Ask people in the Discord for your help. Yeah. Yeah. It should be Do instantaneous. That. So that's your answer here. It should be pretty quick. P Pleb. Pleb. Let's do more Patreon tech support during a stream. That'll be fun. Well, I just figured we'd let them know that it should <laughs> I be instant. I th I don't I don't run Patreon, so I don't know. I I assumed it was instant. That's why I asked. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely, why I asked absolutely. And that's why everybody at home should know too. If it's not instant, then just you got a problem. But it'll work. It'll work. Travis says ten bats coming your way. I hope he's talking about bat. Uh, Basic attention tokens and not actual bats. I would hate that. Here's one thing I wanted to play. Uh, <laughs> did you see the couple uh, with the Nazi face masks? No. Tell me they had a hole cut out in the mouth, too. You're sick. Yeah, you're sick. You have an illness. You can't be American and wear that mask. You cannot. We literally had a war about this. We literally had a war about this. Uh, I like how they're handmade, too. Like, she couldn't just buy one. <laughs> they might as well be knitted. <laughs> you know, like she sat in her rocking chair and knitted them. Yeah, it looks like there's the, the Nazi symbols made out of dyed macaroni. <laughs> You're wearing First a swastika. Thing, you fucking clap. Yes, T. Roberts, talk Thank about you. Jonas. Yeah, this is the beginning of a new week towards our uh, weekly bonus show for next week. It's highly important. Or else the Nazi masks win. You're sick. You're literally wearing a Nazi flag right now. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, that's, that's is going to happen here in America. You're sick. Yeah, you, you literally had a fucking war about this. <laughs> the Nazis lost. The Nazis last. The Nazis. The Nazis last. We literally had a war about this. Yes. Please don't wear those masks. You cannot call yourself an American. I'm not a Nazi. Then why are you wearing the fucking mask? There it is. Jumped up. Yeah. Turn off the Fox News and wake up. Turn off the Fox News. Turn off all news. Right now. That mask is bullshit. Fuck you. It's so incredibly offensive. You're not an American if you wear that mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come up with something new, buddy. Literally had a war about this. We, yeah, yeah. We literally had a war. We literally had a war about this. I mean, it probably works better for social distancing, right? I'm staying an extra six feet away from these fucking people. <laughs> the Nazis. God, just shopping at Walmart is not very American. This, Walmart's so sad. Yeah, yeah. Especially those sad. people in the People of Walmart coloring book. Ah, uh, yeah. Don't let it happen again. Uh, I, can't help. <laughs> I think those people were. Yeah. This is all allegedly. Okay, I don't know what this is. Was this the farts? I don't know. Fart so on there's my face? that. I. It's so weird. I almost want to believe it's staged, but I know it's not. Man, she's like, "This is what you're gonna become with your socialism." If I have to wear a mask, I'm gonna wear one with a Nazi symbol. Okay. Oh bitch. no, you show <laughs> you sure showed them. Okay. You're gross, but I'd rather have you wearing the Nazi mask than no mask at all right now. <laughs> Isn't it weird that you have to say that? It sucks, right? I'm yeah. like, geez. Stay. I'll stay extra far away from these people. I guess you can make. If, if you're making a video about these people, make it a little more interesting. If I seem distracted right now, it's because I scrambled my entire fucking playlist. Damn. And I'm putting it back together Damn. right now. Damn. Bit by bit. Ben. It's so aggravating. Scrambling playlists. What is this? 
Yeah. Nazi Germany. You know we had a war to fight against. Nazi Germany. We had a war to fight against scrambling playlists, Ben. I feel, I feel awful. <laughs> Classic Poland. That's how the Germans lost uh, World War II, too. Poland scrambled their playlist. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. I don't read history books. I could just assume that's how it happened. They say that uh, if you don't like follow history, history repeats itself. So that tells me I don't even need to follow history. It's going to become future anyways. No, it's it's that if you it's if you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it. Yeah, so I'll just learn the second time around when it happens again, right? No, because you no. won't remember that it's the second time. Oh, check this out. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. This is funny, dude. This is like some Jim Henson. <laughs> no, stop <laughs> it. Well, watch, we're making fun of these people, but really they had like botched facial surgeries. Shins blown off by a Japan man's machine gun so this couple could wear Nazi masks in Walmart. Damn straight, Cotton Hill. <laughs> is that Hank Hill's dad? Yes. God, yeah. I didn't know his name was Cotton. That sounds yeah, terrible. Yeah, his name's Cotton. It sounds terrible. <laughs> God, what a... What a... I like their masks a lot better than the Nazi masks, though. Even though those aren't functional. Did they walk in like that, or were those That's their so eating masks? <laughs> you, you shouldn't have an eating mask. Oh, I thought... They don't, it, they, they don't even require that you wear a mask. They don't require that you wear eating. the eating mask. They require you wear a mask when you walk in. Did they right. walk in with the mouth holes cut in? Or do they take off their it's, regular masks and put on those masks? It's ineffective. Well, because technically at that table, in that moment, they weren't doing anything wrong. Right? No, it just looks stupid. It looks terribly stupid. But it doesn't look as stupid as the people wearing the Nazi masks at Walmart. So I'm going to go... If, if we're going to go head to head, who had the dumber masks, even though these are completely ineffective, they didn't need them there anyways. I'm going with the Nazi masks, the worst mask couple in the, in the, 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 bat, the mask versus mask championship. Nazi masks lose. I got to take them masks off. It's com. I, I like how people call it communism. It's communism. How is those masks communism? I don't understand. It's protocol. They're you know, making you buy your own mask for one thing, so it's definitely not communism. <laughs> it's capitalism at its finest. <laughs> Everybody's like, "Ooh, you! I'm disabled. I I can't wear a mask. I don't have to wear a mask to go into a restaurant." You still do. There's, there's. Yeah, the, you don't. Ha they don't have to let you in the restaurant for any reason. They really. don't. And if if you if the you're only not the only limit to that is if if you like say I'm not going to let you in. You're black or something like that. Yeah. Or or like I'm not going to let you in. You're you're Muslim or, or something. Nazi. Oh uh, no, that's not a religion <laughs> or a race. Damn. It's it's race and religion. That's where the Nazis and, and are like messing disability up. And that's where, that yeah, kind even of with stuff. disability. The American Disability Association is saying you still have to wear your mask when you go inside places. Right, that I, I'm I'm talking about like not being able to walk or being blind yeah. or deaf or something like that. You still like have that. to wear your mask though. Like sure, you, you no, can't I'm be like about I have a breathing problem. I'm talking about they can't deny your entrance into a place because of a disability. Or yeah, something. but if your disability is breathing problem, you still have to wear a mask. The, the, you sure, they can deny you. A mask doesn't aggravate a yeah, breathing like problem. Yeah, like stupid mild Bill when he walked in with his mask off and was like, I don't need a mask. No, you actually still do need a mask. It's not your right to walk in without a mask. Even if you have a breathing problem, it's not your right. There's, a, there's like an entire article within the law that says if there's imminent risk, you just stay the fuck at home or wear your stupid fucking mask. It's imminent risk in the law itself. So all these wonderful human beings that act like they, they uh, I can't do but breathe. I got <laughs> asthma. I can't, ADA. I can't wear that commie mask. I got asthma. No, you still have to. You're not exempt. It's in the freaking rule book. In the Silver Linings playbook. It's in the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Yeah, it's in the Sisterhood of the Traveling <laughs> Masks. Which you should not share masks either. 
don't do it. Most places give you a free mask. Yeah, a lot of places offering free masks. I went to the grocery Communism. store. They had no, that's actually capitalism because it's like a business wanting people to be able to come in. And if there's a mandate and people forget a mask, they'd rather give away a cheap mask than and make the sale than not get it at all. Yeah. If they had Nazi masks on, though, I would consider them mentally ill by choice. That's what they were saying. They're like, you're sick. You're sick in the head. We went to we literally went to war over this. He said that so many <laughs> times. I was like, man, I love I love where you're coming from with this, Papa. But you need to sit down and think of a little l- little more of a line here. You can't say that same tired line three times. Because we went to war over this 70 years ago. Yeah, it's true. Check out this video. Here's another one I had lined up. Oh, fun! She blew up somebody's car. She did not do it very well. Yeah, she almost blew her own head off. She got no eyebrows now. Luckily, she was wearing a mask. <laughs> she found out that 5.25 p.m., a guy I went to high school with was driving drunk at high speed, killing a 46-year-old woman who was about to turn into the neighborhood. This guy used to be arrogant and burn people on the internet. Really douchey karma, I guess. I mean, karma for him, but not for the 46-year-old woman. That's that's crazy, Mighty Five. That's, that's terrible. I hope that guy is uh, dealt with justly. So they just keep filming the car burning. They're like, yeah. well, well, we literally went to war over this car burning. Got to see what's up with Hannibal. Oh, no. Billy doing arson. Billy doing arson. That's a lit car, Roman Velasquez says. Normally, I would just steal his joke and not credit him. But because I didn't think that joke was that funny, I credit him for it. I don't want people thinking that I came up with that on my own. <laughs> no, is is great. It's fire. You think it was her boyfriend's car? I'd almost, I'd almost like let her torch my car just to be like, just for it to blow back in her face. But you know, I'd still probably call the cops on her. Be like, yeah, she let my car on fire. She crazy. And the cops are like, oh yeah, well, too bad. You said all cops were bad last week. We're not gonna come help you. I'm like, oh, oh. Shit. (laughs) Okay. Guess I'm going to have to beat her. No, it's not the answer. Billy doing Ewok sound? I don't... How do... do, What sound do Ewoks make? Uh, I don't know. I know know Wookiees are like... Like... When I yawn, I can kind of sound like a Wookiee. I don't know if that's... That's more like a Jawa, right? Yeah. I swear. Did we watch the Ewok adventure for our movie thing one time? Yeah, because they had the cute little kid that was like androgynous. Cruza. Looked like me when I was a little kid. Turns out I could have been a Hollywood The kid star wasn't there. androgynous. You were androgynous. I was, yeah. No, yeah. That's what I meant to the say. kid was a little girl. Yeah, but I was. it looked like <laughs> me when I was a little boy. Back before I chose what gender I was going to be. I think I picked right. Like, I'd rather be a long-haired, effeminate man at six foot two than a six foot two masculine woman, you know? I think I picked right. Um... Speaking of that, <clears throat> there's a uh, Wikitubia. Well, you you have an article on here. I'm sure I do. This looks like a backdoor red room, dark web bullshit. Yeah, I'm handsome. I, where's the? Oh, oh, here it is. Here it is. That you're called the fridge due to your five foot eight and seven hundred, or five foot eight height and seven hundred pound weight, and also says you're forty three. Yeah, this is all bullshit. <laughs> it's all bullshit. Someone else sent this in too. I don't know what they're trying to imply here. Oh, I'm handsome. What who, about th- who are the other boys next to us that aren't handsome though? Oh, that's not you on the first panel? 
Who, me? Yeah, I thought that was you in the first panel. Which one's the first panel? You know, with the microphone in front of him. You always have a microphone in front I'm, of you. I'm Gavin McInnes. Oh, is that who that is? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was you. I can't tell who the other... Is that a lady at the end? Is that m- roaming millennial at the end there? <laughs> roaming millennial? When is she going to be? Do you need LASIK eye surgery? LASIK it, You know LASIK what, though? Whoever, whoever made this should have stretched it out more. What the hell? It's very compact. Yeah, whoever did this, I got I to gotta say right now, not a fan. Not a fan. I do look really good, though. You still Hawaiian wear shirt. Hawaiian shirts, though. Hell yeah, dude. I was supposed to go to Hawaii, but COVID happened. Had to cancel my trip. Never been to Hawaii before. I was going to go sit on the beach, sip Mai Tais. I was going to catch a sea breeze boner. It was going to be awesome. Wind blowing through my thighs. Sipping Mai Tais. It was going to be awesome. But COVID happened. Couldn't go to Hawaii. I stuck with all these Hawaiian shirts. Not my fault. The alt right decided to get style right when I did. I'm not a white supremacist, dude. For one, I don't think any of you white people can keep up with me. No matter how white I am, I don't identify with y'all. Y'all are still behind. Yeah, sure. I think I'm better than everybody in the world. Everybody. Not just the whites. I'm a me supremacist. I do very well at it, too. Which is why, if I could clone myself, this world would be in So I don't trouble. know what to do right now. What like, do you mean? I don't know what to do right now. I don't. I either have to just, like, not say anything or just, like, li- listen to you just like stroke yourself for, like unendlessly i'm, I'm like waiting good. for a gap for you to like stop doing it so i can say something yeah because like my, my choices are either be like no that's not true and then we get into a dumbass <laughs> argument about whether or not it's true or i can just hey yeah you're right billy i like that one. Oh, i know you like that one <laughs> but that's why i'm quiet yeah i was just trying to keep the dead air from happening i know i know i know but it, I, I don't know if i can know Oh man! Next time I'll just I'll just sit here patiently. Okay, so tonight we are doing episode seven fifty seven on Twitch TV slash Drunken Peasants. There's a link down below. You can go in there now. Give us a follow. The there's going to be people in the chat room shortly here. It's going to be great. It's going to be different. We we got lots of articles to read. We do have some videos. We're going to go over uh, how the... Uh, let's see. We're going to go over how um, Bill Barr did today getting grilled. Bill Barr? Yeah, Bill Barr. Is that Roseanne Barr's husband? No. He's the attorney general. Oh, I, don't, I didn't know that. No, you didn't know that? No yeah, idea. you know why? Because he hardly... It, I think this is the first time I've ever seen him get questioned huh. by Congress. Interesting. Yeah. And he got grilled big time. Speaking of Roseanne Barr's husbands. Usually I usually I watching that kind of stuff is boring, but it got heated to the point where it was uh kind of I don't know. It was kind of entertaining. I was I was on Twitter and I saw Tom Arnold re- responding to somebody. And I think there was like a, a I, can't, I can't remember if it was Trump or somebody. He was responding to somebody on Twitter and he was trying his like material on Twitter and fans were calling him out for it. And he was just like, hey, man, I don't know. I, COVID, I can't go out to clubs. I'm just trying my material. They're like, whatever, dude, you suck. I felt so <laughs> bad for him. Aww. I felt so bad for Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold, uh, we, we got that cameo from Tom yeah. Arnold the one time. I feel like this might be the time to reach out to Tom Arnold and just get him on the show because he he was hurting in that Twitter exchange that I saw earlier. He said he gets Arby's for life. Well, okay, so he, he won't go hungry. It. That's good, at least. He won't go hungry. Let me let me see if I can pull. I I, I thought I screen capped the the tweets. They were just that. Oh, sad. Sad. I was like, oh, Tom. Yeah. So he was responding to Gwyneth Paltrow, 
says Rob Lowe's wife taught her how to give a blowjob. <laughs> so that was the big the big uh, news article here on Twitter. Let me drop my uh, thing a little bit so we. I can... liked it when Tom Arnold did the best sports show ever. It was like the best damn sports show ever. Said Rob Lowe's wife taught her how to give a blowjob. Shout out to Rob Lowe. Rob, Rob Lowe had a scandal back in the day. Did you ever hear about that? Uh, didn't he pick up like a trans prostitute or what was it? I never know anymore. He had like statutory oh. charges against him. Oh, that's no good. And filming it and all kinds of stuff. He had a big time. Uh, he like he couldn't find work at all at one time. <laughs> Damn. And that's why, and it's kind of fucked up, but do you remember that movie that they made called Sex Tape? I think so. He was the villain in it. I need to rewatch that. Yeah, see, here here it is right here. 1988? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, shit, where is it? Oh, here it is. Lowe was involved in a sex scandal over a videotape of him having sex with a 16-year-old girl he met at a nightclub. They were videotaped the night before the Democratic National Convention in Atlanta, Georgia, as the age of consent in Georgia was 14 at the time. Wow. Until 1995, when it was raised to 16, both were of legal age to engage in sexual activity, although 18 was legal age to be involved in such a recording. At the time, Lowe was campaigning for Michael Dukakis. Uh, was this around the time that uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was running or, or voting for lowering the age of consent to 12? Uh, <laughs> That's so fucked up Tom Arnold This is funny that they brought up the Democratic Convention Because uh, Tom Arnold responded to the Quinneth Paltrow Saying Rob Lowe's wife taught her how to give a blowjob And Tom Arnold said I love Cheryl Lowe Rob's a teacher too He was giving handjob lessons at the Democratic Convention a few years back he goes to the Democratic convention a little too much a little and too bad much. stuff happens. And then Tom Arnold responded to the same thing and said, Gwyneth has a pretty tight grip on that practice penis. Now I understand Chris <laughs> Martin's music. Tom. And then somebody named Corey responds, random person, do you just comment multiple times so one of them has a chance to go viral or something? Corny. And then Tom Arnold said, you got a better place to work out new material? Let me know. All the comedy clubs are closed. By the way, did you like either joke? Should I do a couple more? I do this all the time, young man. Sit down. Shut up and take notes. I don't even know what viral means. Yeah, Tom Arnold. That one got two likes. <laughs> I'm going to go like it right now. And then someone said, the other one was a little better. Keep at it, Tom. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. I saw that. I felt bad for our guy. I was like, maybe we should reach out to him. Don't feel bad for him. You know how much money he probably got out of Roseanne? He's yeah, probably just... but do you know how much sex he had to have with her to get it? Yeah. Ah, fuck it. I'd do it, too. <laughs> oh, okay. So right now I'm literally just waiting for Hannibal to show up. I don't know when Monty's going to show up. And I'm waiting for this adrenochrome to kick in. Yeah, yeah. How's uh, how's it going, you know, being part of the, the elite? And uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, I picked up a, a six pack at the Democratic National Convention. A six pack of uh, baby fetuses. I mean, we call them Capri Suns. Baby fetuses. I I, I just meant fetuses. Baby fetuses. Yeah. Do the fetuses <laughs> not come the from the babies? I mean, <laughs> we call them Capri Suns. We just pop a straw on the back of their neck and sip. Is that, a, is that adrenochrome, man? <laughs> How great would it be if I was in the elite and this was really what I had to do to be in the elite and I bragged about it openly because nobody would believe about it anyways? Right. Well, isn't that the shtick, right? I always figure as long as I say outlandish things all the time, if anything that is true actually slips, I'm safe because I can just claim it was also one of the other outlandish things. You've thought this through quite a bit. Oh, How yeah, do I know dude. that you're not really a member of the elite? I mean, you are. Dude, I'm going to play this. Is that me? Were you, are you the pagan green man in, in uh, Gorilla 199's backyard? I thought so, dude. I was going to play this tonight, then I remember in the video he has his shirt off, okay. and Twitch has that weird Ooh. shirt rule. So. Ruff, ruff, ruff. 
That's not a dog, by the way. That is Gorilla 199. That's what he sounds like. Oh. No. <laughs> so this guy believes in all kinds of crazy shit. So he believes that there's a pagan green man haunting his bush right here. And he's going to go slap the shit out of it with a broom. Is this a new video or is this the same old one that this he was? This is old. Okay. This is old. I just wanted yeah. to play it. I'm like, is he doing this all the time? Because this is the first time I ever saw him. This is what Dude, he was doing. Dude, if this was every video on his channel, I would watch it all the time. If it was just him beating the shit out of different plants with different tools. <laughs> and then the weird problem stopped. <laughs> He's walking away from the bush like he just blew it up in an action movie. Yeah, he's walking in slow-mo away from it. And then he puts a Bible verse up. Ephesians 6.12. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Damn. The Bible is pretty cool. Not really. A lot of it's really boring. You know how many pages it is? It's it's an insane amount of pages. Yeah, but if you get to the boring stuff, there's a lot of incest. And there's also... Oh, okay, there's, I don't a lot particularly of care for that. Um, hey, King Frederick. Spotify sweet boy here. I love listening on my commute. Thank yeah. you. And by the way, if you guys have commutes like, and you want to catch up on the show, like I hear a lot of people don't have time to watch it all, you can use Spotify, you can use iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Podcast Addict, any one of those apps, you can just search for Drunken Peasants and you can get the audio feed. I upload it usually either the night after we do it or the next morning. Sometimes I might get behind for a second, but I've been trying to stay on top of it. Yeah. So, And I'm really sorry you don't get to see my beautiful face on the podcast when you listen to it through Spotify, but the benefit is you can imagine me wearing anything you want while you listen. So you'd be like, oh, that's Billy in a lacy nightgown or something cute. It's up to you at that point. Matter of fact, I might just start saying that I'm wearing lacy nightgowns for the Spotify-only listeners. I'm like, yeah, this lacy nightgown's all twisted up in the, the crotch. It's kind of bunched. And they're going to be like, oh, my God. That's hot. I that could be Spotify. like your uh, drag burlesque name, lacy nightgowns. Lacy nightgowns? Yeah, yeah. that's not bad. LASIK nightgowns. LASIK nightgowns? I can't see. Because they can't see when we're on Spotify. They just have to take my word for it. And you can always trust me. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for Hannibal to drop into Skype and send me a good old hello. Are they opening up video for Spotify for everybody? That would be great if they were. I mean, I would upload to it. Yeah. I know that there was a lot of the big pop songs I was listening to on Spotify would have a video accompany them. I try and get my videos onto my Spotify playlist too. Because I got the music videos. Music video. People be like, oh yeah, this is probably the French music video. I love Spotify. Good time. I get paid more for a music video view on Spotify or music view on oh, Spotify yeah. than a video view on YouTube. Yeah. Probably so, not like four years ago. On YouTube, because YouTube was even then. A lot. Oh, even yeah? then, yeah, a million, a million views on YouTube on a music video would be lucky to be two or three thousand dollars for a million views, and a million views on Spotify, pss, we're looking at four thousand dollars. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but everybody uh, who does want to just go over to Spotify and listen to my music there, put it in a playlist for the podcast. Best day of your life. Oh my God. You never have to listen to anything else again. Yeah. That's if you like podcasts, you go podcasts. If you feel music, you go music. Back and forth forever. Space Dojo Film says, can I send you beats, Billy? Yeah, send me beats. Uh, beats by Dre? I won't tell you my email address, but I will tell you <laughs> that it's the same as my Twitter handle, but it's a Gmail account, so you'll have to figure that out. Man, that's boom, like boom, a code boom, to boom, crack boom, right there. Boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> Those who want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Billy the Fridge on Twitter, at Billy the Fridge on Instagram, YouTube.com slash Billy the Fridge or YouTube.com slash Overweight. I don't have an OnlyFans set up yet. 
We're working on it. We're working on it. I just got a a, a new camera. I'm excited. Oh, yeah? I'm excited. What kind? To, it's a Canon uh, EOS 90D DSLR. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice big. I've never used one of those before. I, I, I pulled out the box last night. I had, uh, I was, I was going to set it up as a webcam. Yeah, yeah. I like how you can do that now with a DSLR. Yeah, it looks really good. You can like get a nice milky background, you know, like it has that Yeah, that, with the that background's layer. out of focus. Yeah, it looks but really good. But you're all like yeah, HD. Yeah, 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 it looks really good. Yeah. So I was going to get that for web streaming See, I, and then other stuff. There's no room for something like that for me here, you know? I don't know. Yeah, it'd probably have to be... I don't know, maybe you could set something up behind the screen there. In between the two screens. Yeah. When's the last time you showed everybody the setup in here? Um, Not too long ago. You know, the other day I was looking at... Um, a single monitor that had multiple video inputs for mm -hmm. it, and you could make it a quad screen, or you could like switch between them and make them full screen that's and that cool. sort of thing. Yeah, but the reason I didn't get it, it was pretty expensive too. But the reason I didn't get it is because I didn't know where to put the webcam. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah, because the webcam would have to be like up here. Yeah, you kind of need, you kind of need that space there. Yeah. Huh? Uh, got him. How big was the the screen? Uh it was pretty good. It was pretty big, and it was it was four K too. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And these are really cheap monitors that I use here. Yeah. Chris Shan follows me on Twitter. He follows you still, right? Yeah. It's good. The good times. The good times. ATK asks if anyone wants to talk about wrestling. Oh, my God. That's all the wrestling we'll talk about for now. Wrestling is a thing that people watch. There you go. It's true. It's true. My my boy, uh, Ricky Shane Page. What does he do? He uh, had three independent wrestling main events this weekend. Oh, so he, so he, he went up against Warhorse. So where he's where is he going to wrestle? Uh, I think he was in New Jersey for one of them, so it was Northeast area. Uh, he, I don't know how those matches turned out. He probably, you know, won them all. I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm not too worried about that. Wrestling's fake, anyways. Uh, but it was good stuff. I'm hoping eventually three, two, one can do some shows again. Yeah, they have to open up that border first, though, so Scott Henson can come down. Right, right. We need Scott back in Seattle. He can get him in here in the studio. That'd be good times. He's a board certified sweet boy. I'm also an artist. Uh, Guns Akimbo. I watched Guns Akimbo this weekend. Have you seen that? No. It stars the kid from Harry Potter, and it's kind of like Daniel Radcliffe. A, Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a shoot 'em up. Like, oh, you know what? Oh, oh yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. I have seen it actually. Okay. I I watched it with Adam. Okay. Um. I didn't remember the name of it. It's yeah. it's so over the top. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like Scott Pilgrim versus the It is the kind gangsters. of gangsters. Yes. <laughs> but but even more like more violent, more oh, yeah. gritty. Yeah. 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 But it's like he's he's got the temperament of Scott Pilgrim in the film. Yes. And then it's like very like hyperactive imagery and it's he's got like I don't know. Is it was it was fun. It was good. You know you you know what akimbo means? No. Akimbo is like the stance where you have your uh, arms or your legs like stanced like spread out. It's like it's like actually like I, I thought it was like some Japanese word or something. It just sounds like it's not English, but it's an English word for how you stance with your, like, your arms out to the side or or your legs sometimes akimbo. I've never heard anybody say that before. The T pose, not quite a T pose, but close. Yeah, I want a ICP and Billy the Fridge collab too. I want to, I want to wear fur suits and rap with those boys. If anybody knows ICP personally, I guess I <laughs> I could go through Chris Hansen. I think Chris Hansen's Twitter is disabled right now. I don't know, I could DM him. That's All my right, boy. go ahead. That's my boy, Chris Hansen. I got to hit him up. 
get me a Chris Hansen. Get me an ICP feature via Chris Hansen. How to catch a redditor, and it's about finding how to Ghislaine, catch a redditor. How to find Ghislaine Maxwell? Oh my! They already God. found her, guys. But I love the theory that that she was supposedly that one of the top redditor posters of all time, and that poster just stopped posting when she went to jail, and still hasn't posted yet. Still hasn't posted yet. It's wild, man. It's wild. Is is akimbo means spread eagle? Akimbo is a way better word for spread eagle than spread eagle. Akimbo. Akimbo. I got a bimbo, akimbo. A bimbo, akimbo. Way better than spread eagle. It's wild, man. It's wild. Uh, I just got to... Reach out to ICP, maybe offer them a couple million dollars or something for a verse. But come on, boys, jump on a track with me. We'll call it Circus Peanuts. Circus Peanuts. Yeah. I don't know why we'd call it that. I just first thing that came to mind. Hannibal. Yo. Hannibal. What's up? Uh, yeah, I'm listening live on YouTube and... and in the Skype call at the same time. There we go. Awesome. Right. Yeah. So now that you're here, we're still live on YouTube. Before we go to Twitch, I want to ask you, how was your beat battle this weekend? My my beat battle this week. Did you do a beat battle this weekend? I did not do a beat battle this why weekend. Did, why did the Twitter or no, Instagram told me you did a beat battle this weekend? It's It, it lied. It, it always lies. I why did it do that? that? I don't know. I don't know. But if I had done a beat battle, I would have won, and I would have been announcing my victory. I'd have been telling you. Good. So, no, I, I, I've won forty, which is more than anybody else on the planet. Yeah. And I actually had a conversation with the Guinness people to see, like, hey, so I've won more than anybody else. What do I got to do to? Beat I was just Guinness? gonna ask We're if right. that's happened. Yeah, I've, I've asked that question, and they were just like, yeah, we just need like some proof. That you won all these contests, so you know they basically gave me like a list of things to do. Yeah, and uh, they, plus you have to pay to get in the Guinness Book of World Records. Like yeah. they don't just it's, like if you break a record, like if you're the guy who's juggled the most balls, right? You don't just automatically go in the book. You got to pay a fee. What a fucking racket! The most balls. That's hold on though, hold on though. What if it's like for being the tallest person in the world or something? Yeah, I won't pay they, the fee. They would let someone. Who's actually not the tallest person yeah. into the book instead? I, 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 I look, l listen, these are the questions. These are the questions that need to be answered. And it was like, so then I start, I'm like, okay, fuck it. I'm willing to pay the fee. I'll get the money. It's not a big deal. And then uh, I start hitting up some of these old event coordinators and I was like, hey, so I'm trying to get in the Guinness Book of World Records, you know, for winning the most B battles. And this was back when I had like, 30 something wins. So I was I was like in the like the low the high 20s or the low 30s. And like I'm at 40 now. And I'm asking these people I'm like, yeah. And there was like there's two or three event coordinators that will not uh validate my wins. Haters. Yeah. Well, Is it cuz they got little homies? It sounds like a racket to me. We're we're going to yeah. go over to Twitch. Um so actually there's I'm going to play an intro over there and let things get uh started over there. Let a crowd build up, and then we'll be live over there. Um, yeah. So before we do that, what what's up with Monty? Is he is he just not coming? I I I'm, I don't think so. He's still he's still trying to find a babysitter. Hey, if there's anybody in the DP chat <laughs> that lives in Louisiana and is willing to babysit a no. mixed race child, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, DM me on Twitter because you could you could make thirty bucks tonight. Wow. 20, 20. 20 bucks, 20 bucks. 20 what bucks. an offer. All right. 20 bucks and you get some art from Monty. Right? That's a good deal. And, you, and, and look, if you a woman, you'll get some art and some meat. Uh? <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Drunken Peasants. Go there now. Follow us over there. We will be there very shortly. See you there. Yes. See you there. In the beginning, there was nothing, and then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants, Drunken Peasants, Drunken Peasants, 
Drunk and peasant In the strangest corners of the internet Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben You know where you can find them at Get ready cause they're gonna kick your Drunk and peasant Drunk and peasant Drunk and peasant Drunk and peasant Drunk and peasant